Well, hello again, friends. Today is 119 2022 and today is Odin Odin Project Vlog Day 44. And we are in Fundamentals Part 4, 80% uh, complete. And today is all about arrays and loops. So, um, getting started right into arrays, there's a couple good articles. Uh, this is what I was referring to in my previous video that I um, mis mis um, mis mis said. Uh, this article covers some of the most useful built-in array methods. These fundamentals are something you should you you'll use every day, so don't rush too much and miss out. Um, it's a really good article. Um, both of them are actually. The tutorial is great too. Um, I won't go into them for the sake of you know video time but um, don't skip them uh, they are great fundamentals to arrays um, and then loops there's basically two more articles that go over loops and extensive um, one of the things I liked in this article here that I do want to bring attention to <clears throat> this is a really good article a really good MDM read um, you need should read it I did do the uh, the uh, in sample examples here but uh for some reason i don't know if the browser was broke or what but they were they were not working out uh the salute the code is supposed to be here let me just show you you're supposed to be able to this is a really long article by the way all the way down at the bottom here there's a live output here and you're supposed to be able to put this edited code in here uncomment etc etc and your live outputs it's supposed to come in here and it didn't so basically I ended up uh, <laughs> typing the whole thing in there and then you know 15 minutes later find get finding out that it actually didn't plop the put output in there I don't know if it's something with my browser or what but um, but yeah that was kind of annoying so then I just use I hit I just hit so, show the show solution and just went through it uh, and honestly I was right on track so I was happy with that so this is loops. One thing I did print off that is noteworthy that I really liked is um, is it this article? I think it's this article. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which loop type should you use? I like this. Um, it says if you're iterating through an array and, or because reason why it's like this is because um, I was having a hard time me personally remembering or there's a lot of different types of loops same with arrays there's a lot of methods inside of arrays and methods inside the loops that you can do different things with and then there's different types of loops like for while do while you know for of and it gets really confusing for me to understand which one is the best or best I had a kind of an <laughs> aching question of which method is the best method so this kind of answers it and I love they put this in here it says if you're iterating through an array or some other object that supports it and you don't need access to the index position of each item then for of is the best choice it's easier to read and there's n and there's less to go wrong for other uses for while and do while loops are largely interchangeable which is was fresh nice thing to read um, they can all be used to solve the same problem, and which one you use largely depends on your own personal preference. Which one, <coughs> excuse me, which one you find easiest to remember or most intuitive? We would recommend for four at least to begin with, and is probably the easiest to remember everything. The initializer condition and the final expression all have to go neatly into the parentheses. So, it, excuse me. So it's easy to see where they're where they are and check that you aren't missing anything. So this is your basic uh, for of loop, um, and then um, and so that's gonna I I highlighted this what I just read there, and then I highlighted the syntax for for this right here because um, this is probably more commonly how I'll do it just just the way I think and it's more intuitive for me. I don't like a lot of shortcuts in my code because, at least right now, in my learning phase, because 
it's not easy for for me anyway it's not easy for me to read and understand what it's doing so i i tend to like to be more verbose and that's you can see that in the way i code to my personality so the initializer condition the final expression is cool and then this is actually ironically a, a more difficult while loop and i actually use this in the um in our last project, if you remember, I used the while loop to um, loop through the iteration, five iterations for the rock, paper, scissors. Um, and I used this exact um, setup. And um, it worked out really well. But um, I just think when things are linear like this, um, even more so than this really, but my mind is kind of, and I've talked about this before in videos, like my mind just kind of thinks more naturally and linear, like, do this, do this, do this, do this, done, then do this. Like, I just, it just seems to flow better. Um, so anyway, I printed all this off. Um, I think you guys should too. If you're, only if you're having struggles. If you're struggling with loops and trying to remember and, and think of which is the best to use for which scenario, you should probably think about me printing off uh, this and the uh, syntax examples like what I highlighted there at least so you have an idea of um, what you'd like to use going forward because in the text and I do agree that getting a standard and using that standard is probably the best way to move forward and the best way to learn because they all basically do the same thing in the end with minor minute detail differences so that's loops like <clears throat> I really glossed over arrays but you know um, there I really don't want to just read pages to you because nobody really wants to watch videos <laughs> like that and I don't blame you so um, I'm not really gonna go over it um, the the tutorial is great um, it has you do some array uh, typing in, inside of the examples so please don't skip that and then we come down here to test driven development and this was uh, a new concept to me. I'd not ever heard of this before. Um, and TDD is uh, a phrase you often hear in the dev world. It, it refers to the practice of, of writing automated tests that describe how your code should work before you actually write the code. Um, and they're basically just telling you that and um, giving you an example of what TDD looks like. But I was kind of intimidated by it. Um, I didn't really know what they're talking about, and um, it, it, and it says here in the in the last paragraph that we'll teach you the art of actually writing these tests later in the course. So I was kind of relieved because I was getting like uh, pretty uh, inundated pretty fast in my mind. I was like, "What is this TDD?" and and the syntax is is, is funky and it's different. And it's not like anything we've seen before. Excuse me. <clears throat> so basically, they say the first exercise, Hello World, is intentionally uh, very simple and walks you through the process of running the tests and making them pass. So basically, um, <coughs> excuse me, there's a knowledge check, and then they want you to go through these uh, this list of exercises, and they're all inside this repo here, which is right here I've already forked it but you just fork this basically and then you run this and um, and then you run this in uh, you run it in the order that they want you to so hello world's the first one um, so the way I was doing it basically is I came out here and uh, I, I ended with repeat string but um, before I get to that part, they actually go through here. I jumped some stuff here, I think. Um, oh, yeah, the readme is the setup. So they uh, they tell you what you got to do here. I won't read it word for word, but you got to set up NPM. Uh, make sure your versioning's right. And then you um, once you get that, make sure the version's the correct or latest version. You install a program called Jest, which is what you use to run. That's the program that's ran the exercises against to test them. I um, mean, you run that with by using npm, npm install. Now, I won't go into a lot of detail here, but I had some quirks and some kind of errors that came up when I installed this. Um, 
And so, long story short, I got through Hello World just fine, and then I got to the next one, which is the um, repeat string, and I got stuck. Um, and I'm not sure if I got stuck because I ran out of knowledge and ran out of brain power because it's been a long day at work today, or if I got stuck because something's not installed correctly on my environment, or both. Um, basically... Uh, it's really simple. That's why I was kind of mind bent by it. I'm gonna stop for tonight here on this part, and I'll come back to it in the next video. And when I have a fresh mind tomorrow, give myself a break. But um, I could not get this to resolve. Like even the the something simple like this, it was really frustrating because you know I write a paper rock scissors, you know, almost a hundred lines of JavaScript without really any bad of an eye and I have a while loop in there and I have functions and and then I get to this and I simply have to write a function that repeats a string and I can't get it to work so <laughs> the uh, just file that is called repeat string dot spec dot js um, just will not pass it it fails and then when I'm reading it it's kind of confusing on what it's telling me um, because I'm not familiar with jest and how it how it works uh, I mean, they walk you through it here, but I think I'm going to start over tomorrow with this regards to this part and start the exercise over again. I ha heck, I think I might even just reinstall uh, NPM and um, Jess just to make sure that I have everything right because I kind of ignored some warning messages and maybe I shouldn't have because I'm thinking maybe something's not set up correct because that exercise of writing a, that for loop is easy and it's nothing new that I haven't already done and I just couldn't get the pass so I'm just giving myself a little bit of a, a break on that for tonight but that's kind of where I stopped so um, with that said um, when you guys get here make sure that you fork it and just follow all the instructions in the readme um, that you will find out at the bottom here and take your time, run through this, make sure you don't do what I do, you know, go slow, make sure you get it all installed right, and if you have any second guesses about it, go back and read and make sure that um, that you got it set up correctly before you start. And then, um, and then basically, uh, Hello World runs you through step-by-step um, -step verbatim on what you, what you should do to get, uh, what file you should edit to get uh, it to work and then what file you run to test it which is basically the dot spec spec.js files are the tests you run and you run them in the browser or not the browser you run them in the command line with npm test just like this you just copy and paste that in and then that basically points to hello world dot js and and tests it um, and, and it'll tell you whether it passed or failed and then the syntax in there, the output kind of tells you where you went wrong. That's where I'm kind of foggy. I need to just learn more about that too. So um, don't get discouraged if you get stuck here because I'm being transparent with you guys. I got stuck and like I said, I'm not sure if it's just because I ran out of brain power or I have my environment installed wrong or maybe a little bit of both um, uh, or none of it <laughs> and it's something else. But I'm taking this opportunity to stop take a breath, take a breather and enjoy my night and go to bed early and get it get started on this tomorrow when I have a fresh mind again and we'll start back over with this exercise one and then I'll record uh, after that so um, yeah so with that said I hope you guys uh, enjoyed tonight's content and tonight's journey over uh, arrays and loops and um, I hope that you learned a little bit along the way Please like, share, and subscribe for more content. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you set up your environment and if you had any troubles with it. So with that said, till next time, see ya.